very early this morning, y'all. It's just me and Titus in here making some country ham biscuits. He's got to go and help somebody haul some cows today. I'm gonna sort her off and uh, we'll let the other ones go by. There, on up in there, David. Hey, 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 hey. All right, we got them loaded and we're going to the cell. We didn't have to rope with one of them, and uh, sometimes that's just the way it goes. It's National Muffin Day, so we're making muffins. We're starting with the ones the kids are most excited about, the Reese's. Peanut butter, let's see, it says a delicious peanut butter muffin with Reese's peanut butter chips and Hershey's milk chocolate chips inside. It's a Betty Crocker mix. So this one is not homemade homemade, but we are stirring and we are baking. So like the sign said in Hobby Lobby the other day, if I have to stir it, it's homemade. <laughs> Betty Crocker just helped us out a little bit with the mix. Money, uh, money. <laughs> money, money. Is your name Money? <laughs> I think I was mixing Manny and Bunny because I was getting the Bunny cupcake liners out. Look how cute they are with the little flowers on them. Here's how the mix looks. Now we know those Reese's peanut butter chips are wonderful. Yeah, I want the yucky these. If I ever have any of those peanut butter chips around, the kids will eat them. They yeah, are, they're really I will good. Yeah, I them. Mm-hmm. Oh, it smells good. It smells like peanut butter cake. Here you go, Oh, then I can, yeah, you have another truck. Why is it so bumpy in there? Oh, I forgot to preheat the oven. We gotta get this oven preheated over here. <laughs> We're about to be ready to bake and I don't even have the oven ready. One time I played a cookie monster game. You did? Uh-huh. Okay, maybe we can pour inside of here. Then put them in the oven. Then today we have muffins. You pour it in there? Mm-hmm. And I found uh, one ice one. cream scoop works the best, one that has the little squeeze handle, but my squeeze handle one broke a while back, the Pioneer Woman one that I had. And the one that I have now is the Let me you know show you the one. Got a new one. I think it's over here. Uh, oh, it's in the freezer. <laughs> Sometimes when people get ice cream, they just leave it in the freezer. And here it is now. There it is now, yep. It doesn't have the squeezy thing, does it? You can um, put it over there with the dishes, so 
We can wash it. Ooh. <laughs> Reese's wow, muffins cool. going in. Betty says, bake 15 to 20 minutes or until golden brown and toothpick in center comes out. Clean. <laughs> Who's Betty? Betty Crocker, she's not a real person. Don't let that scare you. She's not real. It's somebody that <laughs> they made up many years ago. Now we're gonna make the ones I'm most excited about, mini lemon muffins. Of course, you can make these regular sized instead of mini if you want to. Oh, did I set a timer for the Reese's ones, did I? No, I didn't, let me set one now. They should just need about, maybe just about four more minutes. I'm not sure how long they've been in there. <laughs> they look like they're almost done. First thing we need is two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, half a cup of sugar, I'm gonna check these muffins. Sissy's putting in a teaspoon of baking powder and half a teaspoon of baking soda. I'm just gonna let them go for another minute and they're ready. After the baking soda and baking powder, we need a quarter cup, I mean, no, no, not a quarter cup, a quarter teaspoon of salt. I'll go ahead and drop that in. We need half a cup of melted butter, so we're just gonna cut it into some smaller pieces and melt it in this little bowl. And we'll need two eggs and a tablespoon of lemon zest. So I'm gonna go ahead and be zesting the lemon. Yeah, do I dump this butter? Um, yes, you can go ahead and put in the butter. And you can pour in this lemon juice and lemon zest here. We need two eggs. There you go. One cup of buttermilk. And a teaspoon of vanilla. Muffins, baby. Well, this is a thick well, muffin mix. I think these are cooled down enough for taste test. Yes. Okay, there's Sissy one. Cheers, Sissy. <laughs> good glass of milk. That's really good. Come get you one, Jonah. Would you like to pick yours? I, oh, I thought that you were gonna pick that one. <laughs> Jacob and Tyler are working this afternoon, so we'll be sure to save them some peanut butter ones. They're good. Okay, Sissy's already got this sprayed for me. We will use our little cookie dropper for the mini muffins, because it's the perfect size for those. Sissy's finished her peanut butter muffin just in time. She loves doing this part. It is pretty fun. Here you go. Okay, we got the first batch of mini lemon ones done. I have this lemon frosting. You can make a glaze to go on top of them with powdered sugar and a little bit of lemon juice. But I had this frosting, so what we're gonna do is just warm this up in the microwave for a few seconds, kinda like how we do those dip um, cutout cookies. We'll just warm this up for a few seconds and then take our mini muffins and dip them in there and have a little frosting glaze on top. We'll just dip them like that and then put them back over here to dry. Those are great, y'all. Absolutely wonderful. The muffins themselves are not very sweet, so when you add that little glaze on top, it's perfect. We got a pink one today. We don't get many pink ones. I don't know if y'all can tell how pink it is, but it's pink with white speckles. Down here, we've got a green, a blue, and a brown. 